In this lecture, you're going to learn how to write a subquery using the in operator. So in our SQL store database, let's say we want to find the products that have never been ordered. How can we solve this problem? Well, let's take a look at our tables. You know that in the order items table, we know how many times each product has been ordered. So to solve this problem, first we need to find all the products in this table and then we'll write another query to return products that are not in this table. So back to our query window. First, let's select the product ID column from the order items table. So these are all the products that have been ordered. But as you can see here, we have duplicates. So we can simplify the result by using the distinct keyword. So back to our select clause, we add the distinct keyword here. Let's execute the query one more time. Now we have the unique list of products that have been ordered. Beautiful. Now we need to use this query as a subquery inside another query. So we want to go to the products table and select everything where product ID not in this list. So we're going to wrap this query with parentheses to convert it to a subquery. Let's indent it, that's better. We add parentheses here. Let me close this window and here. So our subquery returns the unique list of products that have been ordered. Now we get this list and pass it to our where clause. Let's execute the query. And product number seven is the only product that has never been ordered. So in this example, our subquery is returning a list of values. In contrast, in the last lecture, the subquery that we wrote returned a single value. For example, we calculated the average salary of all employees and then returned employees who earned more. In that case, our subquery returned a single value and we use that with a comparison operator in the WHERE clause. In this example, our subquery is returning a list of values, but we can also write a subquery that returns a table a table with multiple columns. You will see that later in this section. Now for your exercise, in our SQL invoicing database, I want you to write a query to find the clients without invoices. It's pretty straightforward. You can knock it out in a couple of minutes. All right, in our SQL invoicing database, we have this invoices table. And in this table, we have the ID of each client. So first we need to get the unique list of clients, and then we'll use that list to find clients who don't exist in this list. So back to our query, let's select distinct of client ID from the invoices table. Execute. These are the clients with invoices. Now we need to select everything from the client table where client ID not in, and then we'll use our subquery like this. Pretty easy. Let's execute the query. So we only have one client who doesn't have an invoice.